Welcome and stay with us to the end of this video and be amazingly surprised as we journey through the other side of Gambia. Taboos, sandy beaches, lifestyle, tribes, culture, and history. The Gambia, a small West African country, has a rich cultural heritage, stunning natural beauty, a number of enchanting tribes, a unique lifestyle, and strings of taboos that will be surprising to you. Before we continue, we would like to say, Welcome to the new Rake Ghana, where we now upload videos that showcase African people, African tribes, African countries, and African history in a positive light. We kindly ask you to show your appreciation for our hard work by liking and sharing this video. Your comments and suggestions are also welcomed and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you are the first to receive our videos when we upload. The Gambia is a small country located on the west coast of Africa, with a population of around 2.3 million people. Despite its small size, the Gambia is a country rich in culture, history, and natural beauty. The Gambia is surrounded on three sides by Senegal, with the Atlantic Ocean to the west. The country is situated at the mouth of the Gambia River, which flows through the country and provides an important source of fresh water and fertile soil for agriculture. The Gambia is a country with a rich cultural heritage and traditions, and like many cultures around the world, it has a number of taboos that are considered to be social or cultural prohibitions. In Gambian culture, touching or pointing at a person's head is considered disrespectful, as the head is believed to be the most sacred part of the body. Public displays of affection such as kissing or hugging are not typically seen in Gambian culture and are considered taboo. Speaking ill of the dead is also considered disrespectful and can bring bad luck. Refusing food or drink that has been offered as a sign of hospitality is also considered rude and disrespectful in Gambian culture. Overall, taboos in the Gambia can vary depending on the region, religion, and social context, but they reflect the values and traditions of a culture that has endured for centuries. The population of the Gambia is predominantly made up of various ethnic groups, including the Mandinka, Fula, Wolof, Jola, and Sarahul. The Mandinka are the largest ethnic group and are known for their rich cultural heritage and traditions. The Gambia's main economic activities include agriculture, tourism, and fishing. The country is known for its production of peanuts, which are a major export crop. The tourism industry is also an important source of income for the country, with visitors drawn to the country's beautiful beaches, wildlife, and cultural heritage. The official currency of the Gambia is the Gambian Delasi, and the official language is English. However, many Gambians also speak local languages such as Mandinka, Wolof, and Fula. The Gambia is known for its stunning beaches, which attract visitors from around the world. The most famous of these is the Bijilo Beach, which is located just a short drive from the capital city, Banjul. The beach is lined with palm trees and offers stunning views of the Atlantic Ocean. In addition to its beaches, the Gambia is also home to a diverse array of wildlife, including monkeys, baboons, crocodiles, and a variety of bird species. The country's landscape is characterized by lush forests, savanna grasslands, and riverine ecosystems. Religion plays an important role in Gambian society, with the majority of the population practicing Islam. However, there is also a significant Christian population and traditional African religions are also practiced. The Gambia is a republic with a presidential system of government. The current president, Adama Barrow, was elected in 2016 after defeating longtime ruler Yahya Jama, who had held power since a military coup in 1994. The Gambia has a rich cultural heritage with traditional music, dance, and crafts still widely practiced throughout the country. Historical figures such as Kunta Kint, the protagonist of the book and TV series Roots, and Musa I of Mali, one of the richest people in history, have deep connections to the country. The Gambia also has a rich history, with its location at the mouth of the Gambia River, making it a hub for trade and commerce in West Africa. The country was ruled by various empires and kingdoms over the centuries, including the Mali Empire, the Songhai Empire, 
and the Kingdom of Kampo. The Gambia also played a role in the transatlantic slave trade, with many enslaved Africans passing through the country's shores before being transported to the Americas. Overall, the Gambia is a country with a fascinating history, rich cultural heritage, and stunning natural beauty. From its beautiful beaches and diverse wildlife, to its vibrant cultural traditions and unique history, the Gambia is a country that truly has something for everyone.